Welcome to video 3 of my free 6 part video series about my core and back immersion therapy. So if you're new to my channel, my channel is about Pilates, Yoga and Physical Therapy, Health and Wellness. My name is Annie and welcome back to my channel, Annie Pilates Physical Therapist. In this video, I'll show you how to build your core endurance, your stamina to help your low back pain if you have poor posture and weak core. So let's discuss about the core muscles, the lumbopelvic hip complex. Most people think that core is just the abs. You have to do ab workouts, doing a lot of crunches, and there's no relief on back pain. Actually, I have a lot of patients also with six packs, abs, but suffering from back pain because they just focus on the abdominal muscles, but it's not the powerhouse of the body. You have to think about the diaphragm, the pelvic floor, the lumbopelvic hip complex, which is the core muscles. So core, some fitness professionals see the word core as gimmicky and replace it with words like trunk, center, or column. Others resist the term because they feel it lacks a clear definition. So here's an easy thing to remember if you're slightly disconcerting way to visualize the core. Unplug the arms, legs, head, and the core is everything that's left behind. So in more technical terms, it's the lumbo, pelvic, hip complex. So if you have weak glutes, then your core is weak. So you don't have the foundation. If your abdominal muscles are weak, then you ended up with weak core too that causes back pain. So there's a lot of factors to target your core and you wanna make sure you're not just doing ab workout. So doing ab workout is good to, to strengthen your abdominal muscles, especially the rectus abdominis, which is the six packs. But don't forget the abdominal muscles concerns also. It targets your obliques for trunk rotation, your transverse abdominis, which is the deeper part of the abdominal muscles. So you want to make sure alongside with the lumbopelvic hip complex, the additional muscles that act on the spine is often considered the core of the core. I know it sounds a little bit confusing, but as you learn more about your body, the mechanics, the movement, and learning about your breath work, then the lumbopelvic hip complex also includes your lumbar spine, the pelvic girdle, the abdomen, and the hip joints. And the more you strengthen each component of the core muscles, then you are more together, whole. And everything you'll do in your functional activities, from lifting activities, deadlifting, or anything overhead reaching, you have the foundation to hold your spine together, to eliminate back pain so you don't get back pain exacerbation. So the muscles on the core are then any muscles that cross over or directly upon the lumbopelvic hip complex. So whatever you call the core or however you picture it, understanding its function and movements is essential for fitness. And that's why my core and back immersion therapy, it's so important for you to really connect mind-body awareness to your core muscles because if you're disconnected to this area, Injuries happen, and if you have chronic back pain, then you can't really reboot, revive your spine, your core muscles, and you're gonna have a never-ending battle of back pain. So in this video, I'll be demonstrating utilizing an elastic band to improve the endurance, the stamina. So you wanna make sure you watch video one and video two first, because this is the next progression. You just don't wanna jump in to video three to stamina and endurance exercises because you can have back pain exacerbation. Because especially video two, I discuss the breath work, the neutral spine, and everything in between before proceeding to this video because this is our third video and every single day you're gonna progress before reaching to our goal of regaining life without back pain. To have a stronger core, improved posture, if you're suffering from diastasis recti, C-section, postpartum, umbilical hernia, that also causes back pain because if you're weak here, then your back gets really sore and weak. Reducing belly fat is important. So diet is important, nutrition. Increasing stabilization is key. No matter if you lose fat on your abdominal visceral area, but if you don't have the stabilization, then guess what? You still have back pain. You can be skinny with back pain. So this is why fitness professionals often state that every exercise is a core exercise. Doing running and doing high impact activities, trying to lose the fat, guess what? It's not the key to decrease back pain. So do you want to know the number one secret I've been using for many years to thousands of my patients to regain a stronger 
core, a stronger spine, and to have improved overall posture. So this is a closed kinematic chain utilizing elastic band. It's a slow, steady progression that won't give any high impact on your spine. So this is a simple strategy that works because you wanna do an exercise program. When you're done, you feel good. You don't feel any more pain that causes problems because pain triggers more weakness. And when you're weaker, then you're back to square one. You wanna make sure you are climbing up slow and steady and you don't want to just jump to any workout routine. You wanna feel your body, feel how it's changing you, and implement right now for fast results. So that's why this is how I'm gonna break down my simple strategy. I'm gonna place the elastic band around your thighs. You're gonna lie on your back. So if you have more back pain lying on your back, I'm recommending lying on your stomach to put in pillow on your abdomen to relax your spine and doing breath work with my video too. And once you have no more pain on your stomach, then you can try uh, again lying on your back because there's different ways you can trigger back pain. So with your knees bent, you're helping your spine not to be in too much pressure. So your knees bent, hips leveled, you wanna make sure you know the neutral spine, as I said in review two. Place one hand at the small of the back, small arch, one hand on your abdomen, and just to take a deep breath through your nose. Belly rise, as you exhale, slowly squeeze your core in without putting pressure at the hand, at the small of your back. As you squeeze in, you lift, using your pelvic floor muscles, tightening it, imagining not to pee. Inhale, belly breath, expand your belly through your nose as you inhale. Exhale, squeeze your core in, belly button to your spine, imagining not to pee, and purse your lip to breathe out. Now we're gonna start moving your hips, the lumbopelvic hip complex. Remember I discussed it earlier about your core. So we're slowly building stamina. The first exercise, we're gonna slowly lower your knee out to the side while the other knee is still in bent, relaxed position. Try your best not to twist your spine. Try to keep your pelvis level. So if there's a cup of coffee here, I'm not spilling it to the right as I lower my right knee down. If you can open only halfway through, that's fine. If there's increasing pain, stop. You want to slowly feel the movement without increasing pain. You just want to move it down as much as you can. No spilling coffee, keeping it center. Inhale and then exhale, squeeze your core in and then place your knee back to the center. And then you switch to the other side. Lower the left knee now out to the side. As you breathe in, belly breath, exhale back center. Again, let's lower it again from your right to the side. As you inhale, belly breath, I'm expanding my belly. Exhale, slowly pursing my lip to release the air from my mouth, through my mouth out. Pull your main navel to my spine and then back center. Switch to the other side, inhale. Squeezing your core in as you breathe out. And my recommendation is to slowly hold it to so three seconds hold, hip opening one side, up to 10 seconds hold as you get stronger. Until you can reach 10 repetitions each lower extremity and then slowly progress to three sets of 10. And then once you can do that without having any increasing pain, then you can do it breakfast, lunch, dinner. You can start twice a day first, breakfast and dinner after those meals or do it three times a day, as you get stronger every single day. After doing single hip opening, then you can do both knees out like a butterfly stretch. Separate your knees out, same method. You inhale, belly breath, and then exhale slowly. Place your knees together again to the center, squeeze your core in. <sighs> inhale, open, butterfly stretch, and exhale back center. So the band helps your body, especially your hips, to engage all together with your other muscles on your core. Belt breath, exhale back center, and do that the same way like we did earlier. 10 repetitions first, and then twice a day, and then three times a day, and then slowly progress to three sets of 10. And after doing that beautiful butterfly stretch, now you can do tabletop. So tabletop is when you bend your knee to 90 degrees bent, 
As you inhale, belly breath. Exhale, slowly lower your foot down. Don't plop your foot. The slower, the better. Inhale, belly breath again to 90 degrees. Belly breath, and then exhale down. Alternating left and right, and do that 10 repetitions. I'm slowly adding your transverse abdominis and your lower abdominal muscles and your hip flexors. Most patients with back pain have very weak hip flexors. 10 repetitions, the same thing, twice a day, and then three sets of 10, up to three times a day. And then once you can tolerate that, now you can do side lying position and in side lying position with your knees bent 45 degrees, feet together, you're gonna lift the top knee for a lovely clamshell to target your glutes, lumbopelvic hip complex, as I said, keeping your core engaged. Breathe in, belly breath as you open up. Exhale, squeeze your core in, keeping your spine in neutral. Try not to lean forward or lean back. Most of my patients with weak glutes, as they lift, they also twist. We don't want that. We want to just lift, keeping everything stable because the core endurance and stamina doesn't mean you're also going to have rotation on your spine. You want to keep everything stable. Learn how to hold your core and then exhale down. Same thing, 10 repetitions. Start three seconds hold for beginners. Progress up to five seconds hold until you can do 10 seconds hold. So lift for absolute beginner. You don't have to hold three seconds if you're hurting your back or if you're compensating your spine. You can just do one rep one second hold for absolute beginner or even without elastic band if you can't even lift your knee up because of extreme weakness because of pain and now place it around your ankles we're going to do reverse clamshell knees bent again to 45 degree angle from your hip and then lift the foot up most of my patients with back pain they can't even lift the foot up if you can't do it with the elastic band you can just Use your hand to help support you, and you can feel a deep stretch. And then exhale down. Inhale, squeeze your core in as you breathe out. And slowly lower your foot down. As you lift, belly breath. Give space on your pelvic floor and your diaphragm as it lowers down. Get more oxygen into your lungs. And exhale down. Inhale. And exhale. And do that. So we covered five simple strategies you can start using the elastic band. If you learn a lot today, and there's more to learn for my fourth video. And in this video, I broke down a simple tip that you can start using with the elastic band on how to build your core muscles safely and effectively. And if you have any questions, suggestions, or concerns, leave a comment down below and I'll try my best to answer each one of you. As I discussed about the, how to build your core endurance and stamina, for your core and back to slowly reach your goals to regaining life without back pain, to have a strong core and improved posture. I'm hoping you learned a lot today. There's so much to learn about my core and back immersion therapy. And if you already signed up on my early bird wait list, you're already ahead of the game. But if you haven't done so, click the link on my description below. Be part of my early bird wait list for a first time, first serve basis, because my program is a game changer that you haven't seen or done before. As I slowly guide you, reach your goals to have an active lifestyle without back pain exacerbation. So if you heard about the importance of your core and your back and you want to really learn more, there's so much to share because of my fourth video, you're going to learn more techniques using physical therapy that I've been using for more than 20 years now uh, as a physical therapist utilizing Pilates, yoga, and it's amazing how it could transform your posture if you're suffering from different postural conditions that you can't or tried so many years of doing exercises without any improvement. So my biggest secret has been shared a little bit now. I know it looks so simple, but this simple strategy really works wonders. And I've seen a lot of amazing results in 10 simple sessions, but without my guidance, 
you might get lost in translation because there's so many mind-body awareness and most of my patients think no pain no gain but that's not true with physical therapy it's actually when there's pain you stop you listen to your body you want to make sure you're doing it correctly without increasing any inflammation on your spine because the slow controlled movement patterns is the best way to stabilize your spine at the same time learn about how to connect your weak glutes weak core especially if you're suffering from dead butt syndrome for those who has been sitting a lot because of the work that requires them from prolonged sitting position or driving or even prolonged standing position so don't miss out on my upcoming video as i will be slowly reopening my back master class to attend for my new students for a small intimate class that i'll be handling small number of students so i could give 100 percent attention to each one of you until my next video training see you in my video four click it over here always remember be safe be well and healthy you bye